So yeah, lads and ladies around the world, uh, it's me Forever Essen here, and we are back for another Fallout 3 session. And in this <laughs> new session that we're in, um, if you guys remember, I was uh, shot through the head, and I'm crippled, and uh, I have to find a sim patch in order to, well, not have a blurry vision of like that. So I have to find um in back first and foremost um also my health is quite low yeah find that rules and whatnot not you guys obviously um but yeah um last time we ventured into the museum of history and now we are in the underworld well, the, the underworld which is apparently the city of ghouls and uh I need uh, to find some information about maybe my dad or anyone that can help me, to be honest. So yeah, um, I'll try to do my utmost to, yeah, as you can see, I'll try to do, to do my utmost to, um, to explore some more and uh, find all the relative information regarding uh, where we should go for the Museum of Technology. And yeah. I think we would go on from that. But if you guys on the side of YouTube uh, like uh, the playthrough so far, uh, then make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, also activate the notification bell so you never miss a video from me in the future, and come over at twitch.tv forward slash forever and why I do all of my uh, crazy um, unedited raw uh, playthroughs of uh, games, whether it be on Tri Star Rail or Fallout 3, as you may see right now. And yeah, um, I guess that uh, without further ado, What's going on? let's start diving back into this uh, crippling experience, no pun intended, and uh, let's see what we can discover. Yeah, this one's going to be a doozy. Let's get started. Okay, can I talk to you, Cerberus? No. Civilian on deck. Oh, okay, okay, civilian on deck, for sure. Uh, so, what are you, the guard dog? I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So, yes, I am the guard dog. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, I could have seen that earlier. Uh, what can you tell me about the underworld? This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. Mm -hmm. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. At least that's what they programmed me to say. Personally, <laughs> I think they're oh, a bunch of okay. rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! Right, so um, you're protecting the city of rules and because they deserve, and we all deserve to be equal. I mean, that's right, and it's only fair. Uh, you ever get outside, Cerberus, into the, you know, wasteland? Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Yeah! Damn this pansy zombie programming. <laughs> wow. He's like, uh, yeah, the draw dot, but also the cheerleader for <laughs> this, the rules here. Uh, anyways, um, I have to go now. Resuming patrol. Yeah, you'll do that. Um, me? Have I eaten this garbage? No. No. Can't. Um,. Hello. Should go there, I suppose. Hello, Winthrop. Oh yeah, that's Winthrop with the scrap medals, right? I've talked to him uh, in the last session. All right. So this one, this one is chill. This one is cool. I like Winthrop. He just wants scrap metal. If I get any. I'll come back to you if I have my head checked first. Um, 
Oh, the world resident? I hope you don't mind the smell. I know how sensitive you humans can be. Okay. Um. Patchwork. Huh? Ah! Jesus Christ! Don't don't sneak up on me like that. I don't know. Last I... fella, last fella to do that damn near lost my arm. You knew here, yeah. You must be since you're actually talking to talking to me. I'm Patchwork. Or just Patches if you like that. I'm shit. I forget. Um okay, so patches or patchwork. So um uh are you alright? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I guess. No. Yeah. I'll be okay. I just I just need to try not to lose any more of my parts this time. And Doc Barrows says that he's he's getting tired of putting them back on me. So, you know, if you see any, just bring them back. Okay, um, you be careful. I don't want you hurting yourself, right? You sure? Some, some people make me hurt myself. Because uh, it makes them laugh. Um. What can you tell me about in the world? What can you tell me about? What, wait, what? Okay, um, <laughs> where uh, can I get a drink around here? You seem like the right person to ask, right? Why, you want to head on over to the Ninth Circle and talk to Mr. Azrakal. He, he, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the generators. I don't know where they are. You'll have to ask Winthrop. Right. Uh, well, uh, I have to go now. See you later. <clears throat> Around here is always busted. Can't ever get a break. Okay, well, that was a nice development. Patchwork or patches or... Whatever. Um, let's see. Underworld. Oh, my vision's getting blurry. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, Underworld outfitted. Gentlemen, well, I uh, don't mind if I go inside. Um. Hey there. Flip. Oh, hey, a lip. human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. It's it's been so long since uh, I had a customer. Well, uh, first time as any. Hmm. What do you do with the money you make down here? Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. Right, and uh... Do you know anything about Underworld? Well, yeah, there's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. Right. And what was uh, this place before the rules then? It used to be part of the Museum of History. The exhibit that used to be here was focused on what happens after death, hell, and whatnot. A lot of it was focused on this old book called Paradise Lost. It's about a guy who goes to hell. Paradise Lost. Pretty interesting stuff. I found a big box of copies of the book in one of the back rooms. Here, take one. Nobody around here wants them. Okay. Well, thanks for the Paradise Lost book. Going to need it, I suppose. Um, how did all of the rules end up here? At first, it was just a couple people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bombs fell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. But over the years, word got around. There had been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Most of them either went feral or ended up here. 
I'm sure there are still a few out there, but anyone with any sense is in Underworld. But, um, isn't it dangerous being this deep into the city? Not really. The super mutants leave us alone. I guess whatever they do that turns people like them doesn't work on us. The Brotherhood of Steel will fire on us if we're out in the open, but they don't bother us down here. We've had some raiders and slavers poke their heads in, but we've got Sharon and Cerberus and everyone else to take care of them. I guess when it comes down to it, being this far out of everyone's way is a good deal for us. Yeah, say that again. That's all I needed to know. Come back any time. It's kind of lonely down here. Well, um, let me see what you have for sale, though. Take a look. It all works. All right. Um. Uh, has some missions. Great. The uh, the strongest, obviously. Again, right? Dot rifle, bam crew and cheese, bobby pin, um, bubble gum, rats plus zero HP plus one. So that one does not give me radiation. That's good. I'm going to get the bobby pin though. Um, combat armor. 25 in weight. Okay. Helmets. Vest. Ram. Energy cell. Frag grenade. Uh, these frag grenades cost a lot, cost a lot to be honest. Um, laser pistol. Pipe, leather armor, missile, missile, la <laughs> missile launcher, really? It's a lot of space, right? Just like the the fat man, although this one is uh, doesn't do that much damage compared to the, that pencil. Okay. Uh, Raider Blastmaster Helmet. 8 guns plus 5, explosion plus 5. Okay. Schematics. Railway rifle. Well, uh... This one... Let me... Let me, let me try to remember. In the last session, I think I've gathered a lot of, um... Railway spike ammunition. Is that for this specific rifle? Railway rifle? I don't have enough caps. Oh. So, yeah. Sledgehammer. Yeah, I've seen the uh, Super Mutants and Sledgehammer quite a lot. Oh. Oh. Impact. Going to them, that's for sure. High iron. Um. You know what? Um, what if? Yeah, I will. That's just that. Thanks. It. Uh, yeah, I have to go. Come back soon, please. Yeah, see you soon. Um, I really hope you're not let thinking me of see what she gave me. The um, was a book. Where was it? Paradise Lost, right? What's that? Each increased by one. Well, you won't say. <laughs> Each 28, uh, 28, sorry, it was 27. Okay. Well, uh, that's great to see. Of course, all of this is not supposed to be. 
in because, you know. Hey, you. I no. sure could use some of that scrap metal. I know I have to get Hello. in the world of outfits, Otter. Why is he? Is there anything that, that I can use here that is not restricted to them? World resident. It's a uh, underworld. Well, enjoying your stay. And Batchwork and Winfra. All right. Green white. Tell that again. Can I rest? Help me, but. Currently, why is there blood here? Shop, shop. Oh. Well, I, not now. Too busy. That's humans for you. Always so goddamn friendly. Right. Yeah, I know I have to deal with this, uh, uh, this little problem, but all in due time. Not very hard. Okay. Winthrop's terminal. You need 50 to hack this terminal. This, you need 100 to this lock. Right. Don't have a. Um, I don't know if there are. If there is a. Um, you know what? Any replay value after the fact? Because sure, I've uh, actually. I don't know if I made a lot of progress, but made a significant amount of. Post. Go to Charles Place. Right. Let me see what's on the other side. The ninth circle. What's here? Usage. Sweet America. Hello again. This okay. is President Eve. I I'd like to have a chair. Oh, there's someone. All relate to yeah. something that is we'll unquestionably inescapably. But we had Winthrop. We have Snowflake and we have Patchwork. National pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own I mean, he's asleep. Did I wake him up? I'm sorry. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon... Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. A human. With hair. Hey, you think we can do something about that? Yeah, I mean... Capital congressman. Their purpose... About what? Make you <laughs> My hair? Yeah, man. That's what I do. I cut hair. I know, I know you look around here and there ain't a lot of work to show off, right? These corpses only got half a head of the stuff. So I never get a chance to work on a full head. Come on, no charge. No charge. Put your faith in John Henry Eaton, Great America, and baseball Wait. will win um, again. What can I do? Uh, how does a ghoul end up as a barber? I prefer stylist myself, but whatever works for you. Everyone has a gift, you know? I used to live in Rivet City. Folks there had enough money for me to do okay. Rivet City, yeah. But after I, uh, changed, no one would let me touch them. I ended up here. Of course, a ghoul with a barbershop makes about as much sense as a screen door on a submarine, so... Fuck it. I just took up Jet. At least it passes the time, you know? Um, are you taking Jet over here? Well, yeah. So, 
What else do I have to do except get high? You think that I need to be sober to cut a ghoul's hair? Half the work is cutting the skin off. These guys don't care how they look anyway. They just humor me. Um, should I? How about a haircut? Sorry. I'm way too gone to cut hair right now. Maybe later? Why did you ask Remember, me? <laughs> no charge. Uh, no charge. Uh. What does that do then? I was placed, right? Okay. Um, let me go to the place. Feeling good. Um, going high then. <laughs> I mean, my head is pretty much, uh, I could sleep on a bed. Oh, hey, you. Oh. Yeah, what? you. Mr. I talk to Foley? You. What are you looking at? You think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before? Uh, easy now, easy now. Um, I've done nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore. I mean... Uh... I mean... All true. Except for the part about, you know, Vince Porter and uh, that last bit. <laughs> I like a human that knows his place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Um, I mean, maybe I'll know if I trust you. The feeling's mutual, smooth skin. But that never stopped a business deal. A lot of you humans are bigots. You don't like ghouls and treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, they're gonna pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? <laughs> what is this answer? The day is incomplete until I've killed something. Uh, we said you don't have anything against killing, right? For the right cause. Or the right money, huh? I've got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started with 11. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die, but it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll give you a hundred caps for each of them. If they die some other way, I'm only paying 25, though. I mean, so you want me to shoot people in the head just to remind them that's how you kill zombies you want to kill humans though but it would just be ghouls no way watch the attitude human right here right now there are more of us than there are of you I mean, yeah, of course, but, you know, I like to keep my uh, defender profile. What makes you think that we got something to say to one another? There's a fine yeah. line I'd like to keep that. But this is Charon. So, apparently, Charon in uh, the Girl Dodge, and they talked about beginning. Wow. They are the two before. most dangerous people, I suppose. 
No. Go talk to Azrakal. Just don't make me say it again. Right. Okay. Um. And okay. How many underworld residents are there? I mean, sure, there are a lot, obviously. But, um. Hey. There are a lot more of us down here than there are of you, Smooth. You just behave yourself. We don't get it. What makes you think that we've got something to say to one another? This is, uh. As a crowd, right? Well, now, looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal, and this, this is the ninth Azrakal. circle. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. Um. Who's um? No, that guy in the corner. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. He doesn't see much, does he? His company is rather refreshing, isn't it? But don't mistake his brevity for stupidity. That would be very unwise. Underestimating an opponent has been the last mistake of far too many individuals throughout history. Right. So, what does he do for you? Watches over the bar. Keeps the drunks in line. Pretty much, I point at something and uh, Sharon hurts it. He's the best thug a corrupt Sharon. bartender could ever ask for. He never bothers me with his own annoying sense of morality. Right. Talk about something else. Very well. You ask too many questions as it is. Uh, is the uh, Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah. Just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Um, <clears throat> does Crowley spend a lot of time here? What's his angle? If I start telling tales about my customers, I'll lose all of them. Each 32%. On my part, what I've seen, my speech doesn't work at all. I see your point. Yeah, well, don't let it happen again. Um. Can you tell me about the underworld, though? It's the only place in the capital wasteland where my people can escape the misery of the world above. And that misery, well, it makes a man like me very happy and very, very wealthy. Right, I, uh, let me see the real dreads. Or, yeah, let me see the real dreads. Why, whatever do you mean? I'm a simple barkeep, nothing more. Uh, I guess I'll take my cats someplace else. You know, they do shit and stuff. Oh, no, 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 don't be hasty. I'm sure that we can work out a compromise. Here, step this way and let me show you what I have. Right. Um. Impacts are always expensive. 
However you look at it. We need to get a lot more chaps in order to buy also this that um railway done. Yeah. Um fine. What's the difference? Fine. E. Archer. Oh. Sure. A buff out. Right. Print to get some steam packs. Um, I have to go now. Come back anytime. I told you about Jane, the guy from the vault. And then sure. you somebody else crawled. Let's go there. there. First off, before I move I move further. Um going to impact my head. <laughs> there you go. Steam packed my head. Use some of that steam pack here. Right. See? All good now, right? Those are Charles' place. Um, yes, that's locked. Oh? Yes, I can see you eyeing it. We don't get a lot of your time down here. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, let me, uh, look, thing is, uh, interesting, it you wears, also a clipboard, I have many of those, and pencils, I don't know what they're for, but I suppose that going to be good for something, Arrow. Arrow's a sneaky. Give me those. Sugar bombs. Here. Empty the full of bottle. Hey, Bretta. Is it done? Hmm. Um. Well, um. What do you know about the underworld? To tell you the truth, hon, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Something about hell or the afterlife or something. Tulip knows that sort of stuff. Not like anyone around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. Right. Um, what can you tell me about, you know, Crowley? He's an odd one. Why, just a few months ago, he decided he didn't like people calling us zombies. No ghoul likes to be called a zombie, but Crowley was going up to humans and almost daring them to do it. <laughs> yeah, Crowley... Yeah, Crowley's a... a specimen, to say that. What's on the menu? Yep, get it while it's lukewarm. Warm. Um, pram, right? This be roll bits. Six, five. Dandy boy apples. Plus five. Fancy lads snack cakes. Five. One on the stick. Instant mash. Fruit. Fourteen beans. Find the fruit. Right. Ellsbury steak. Scotch, equals two. Back again, sugar bombs, ultra, wild under fruit. I think I'm going to get those. And uh, for the there. 
pleasure doing business with you. I have to do now. What? Not full yet? And it's not about being full, it's making sure that I survive. Okay? Hey. Look at you all beautiful I'm people sorry. out here. Going to have a problem. It's been too fine. Hello. Oh. What the hell is that smell? It. I mean, it's not bad. It's just. I don't know. Mr. Crowley's here, right? Yep. Not since the last time you asked. Carol's place, Fuller. Do you want to. I, I, I know that you want to sleep, but. I talked to you, Carol. Oh yeah, hey, oh Carol. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, what is it? Oh, oh my! Someone new. I'm. I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. Welcome, welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. It's not much I know, but it's mine. So if you need anything, just let me know. Greta will get you any food you want, and I handle the rooms. It's so good to have someone new here, even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. Don't make that face, you'll love it here. Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, every horror movie known to man, where <laughs> they, you'll love it here, with that, uh, voice. Yeah, sure. Uh, have you ever heard of a guy named Gob? Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, oh, he's not your son. Really? Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls oh. don't really work like that. But I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> who is <laughs> who is doing to say who is for a guy up in Mandatar? I think he might be a slave. Yeah, that's just going to make her happy, right? <laughs> He's watching in the bar in Mandatar. Oh, that's wonderful news. I'm so glad. If you see him, please tell him that his mother misses him and loves him and that I hope he's happy. But he shouldn't come visit. It's too dangerous, no. No, he should stay put where he is. Um. You run this place with Greta? That's right. Her and I have been together for, oh, about 60 years now. But things haven't really been the same since Gob left. He was like a son to me. I think Greta was always a little jealous of him. Yeah, I understand. Um, how did you end up here, though? Oh, that's such a long story. You couldn't possibly want to hear about that. <laughs> you know you're right. I don't. <laughs> no, Carol. I'd love to hear your story. Well, okay, but it's nothing special. I was born in 2051, so yes. That makes me a pre-war ghoul. Okay. So, maybe we'll have some information about war. Um... You remember the day the war started? I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In DC, we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was... gone. I was just a little girl then. We couldn't afford a space in one of the vaults. I remember filing down into that shelter, my father rushing me in. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you could imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been he he was gone but the strangest thing there was his shadow burned into the wall so crisp and clear 
like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. What was, um... Well, first off... First off, uh... Sorry to hear about what happened to your father. I that you was a beautiful girl trying to reach her father. Yeah, war, war never changes. <clears throat> What was the wasteland like after the war? The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm sure. So, um... So how did you end up... Oh. I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could after a while things got strange my skin started to get dry and flake off everyone's did it took a while months maybe a year but sooner or later everyone ended up like this some of them went crazy some of us just accepted it after a while, other ghouls would find their way in here, and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. Oh, see? You said you weren't in... You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting too. I mean, that's fair. What can you tell me about Underworld, though? I've been here since we founded the town. Before that, well, life out in the waste wasn't very pleasant for us. But so long as we stay down here, we can live our lives as people, not monsters. I think things are better this way for everyone. Um, you know, um, the Crowley? The back room renter? Oh, he's a swell guest. So polite, too. Never gets mad at anyone. I've been letting that room to him for about a year now. I said, each ever works. Sounds like a normal guy. Yes, he's much nicer than some of my guests. So, how much for a room? No. Oh, 120 caps, I guess. Uh, nothing. Okay, then. Have to go now. You come back real soon now. Yeah, I'll let you back to... Have a good... No, it's good sleep. Oh, a baseball bat. You have an one as well. It's right in my oh, hello. Okay. Anyways, um, have I seen everything? Is there anything I haven't seen yet? So this was the door to the main circle, right? Right? So the underworld, or underworld rather, is um kind of um yeah, safe haven now. The 
this to look different right here. Yes. Workbench. Wait, you can activate your workbench? Weapons workbench. You don't know how to make any weapons yet. Oh, well, uh. Alright. The lot is, um, see if we, uh, check. Hey, Cyclone, whoa, you're so careful, Pat. You okay? Might need a stitch on your Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Everything's working just for now. Don't let the smell. I'm sure there will be some people in the comments today saying, uh, yeah, you know, you should always, um, I don't want to steal. I want to be a, a good um, Eastlander, I suppose. I want to have to deal with the uh, hello the queen, the queen. Oh, why hello there! Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Um, oh, oh God, I'm out of here. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Twin. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. I permit you to go. <laughs> Is the Legion Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Right. So I've heard. What's that um, Mr. Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. How about I don't? How about you just tell me? Really? Okay, okay. No need to get upset. Crowley is running some sort of scam. He tried to get me to kill some wastelanders. But I wouldn't do it. Dave is one of them. I've met Dave and he's mighty strange. But he's no bigot. He doesn't hate ghouls any more than I do. Wait, does that mean that, um... Achieved another level? Just by... <laughs> just by being successful in his speech? Bye. Whatever. Hmm. <clears throat> Level five. All right. Well, I have a uh, nineteen nineteen skill points to attribute. So um, let me um, let me do something about this. Um, and repair. That should be good, right? Alright, um... Yeah. Swift Werner. Into the tape scan. Hey. So, what's it, what's it look like? Um... I, am I doing good? This hasn't been <laughs> improved from the very beginning. I don't know how to push that. Kills. I need the speech points and the water points. It discounts on my on all the products that I See? Changed again. 
It needs Harry now. Not a defender anymore. So I changed from Volt Malter to. What's that acid? Volt Malter. I don't remember, but last one I had was Defender. But it, I suppose it depends on the pe little people killed here. That will change. So, Dignitary. I'm <laughs> Dignitary now. So, do work with that. But I suppose that um, I worked a lot. I, I went to level 5 because. I choose the edit agitated um, perch or that helps me to uh, gain three more skill points every time I advance in level and I don't know maybe next level up I will try to get the uh, one where you can get more experience by the dog I mean Intelligence people and getting the speech, or something like that. I don't know. I just will. See. Yeah. Uh, in terms to quests, I still have to find a museum of technology. Yeah. So What's let's uh, have a go. Here, the shop shop. I don't know what I'll find here, but it's there. Impact here. I can't. I don't know what these uh, teddy bear are meant for. I still don't get this uh, pre-war money. Yes, Dr. Barrow. Hello, nurse. I really Hello. Hope you're not thinking of breaking in today. Flies. This is real. Okay. Um. Where is he? Dr. Barrows at your service. There you are. What brings you to that chop shop? Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. Um, stay away from me, you freak. No, no, no. What do you mean by it? What do you mean fresh human samples? You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. It's touch me and I yell zombie. Sorry, I, I aim to keep all my samples to myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Um, need medical supplies. I think I can help you out. A lot of steam pads, though. How many steam pads do I have? Two. That. I was dead. Yeah. Pleasure right. doing um, business with you. What do you know about uh, Mr. Crowley? Nothing. 
Why? What have you heard? You've heard something, haven't you? I don't have my speech at 54 now. So, uh, I don't think this is going to work. Hmm. It's 37, so. Me? No, I haven't heard a thing. Really? That's a relief. And. Uh, Wait. Do I have. Do I even have radiation? Can you feel my radiation? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. And uh, no thing. If that's the way you want it, it's all the same to me. Uh, I need to join. Bye. Bye. Uh, hey. Nurse Drake. Welcome to the chop shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Borrow's assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. If you require any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Um, you talk to Trolley much? Can you tell me anything about him? He's not my type. Doc Borrows is friendly with him, though. Why don't you ask him? I'm injured. Anything you can do for me? Certainly we can help you. Please speak to Dr. Borrows. Oh, and we only take caps. No barter. Good to see you. Oh. Um, Rayleigh? There is no response from Rayleigh. She appears to be in sort of, in some sort of a coma. I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. She's not well at all. Don't worry, though. I'm sure the rest of Riley's rangers will show up soon and take her home. Um. What's wrong with her? She had multiple lacerations, contusions, broken leg, some internal bleeding and blunt force trauma. She hasn't been conscious since they brought her in a few days ago. I'd say she tangled with some super mutants and lost. It's a miracle she isn't dead. <laughs> My speech is unfortunately not at 40%. Um... Rayleigh's really Rangers? Oh, you must be new around here. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. She was in a pretty bad way when they found her outside Underworld. Right. Um... How did she end up in the shop shop, though? She was just brought in by a few others. They found her bleeding to death at the entrance to the city here. If she'd been out in the tunnels any longer, she'd have been someone's meal by now. Yeah. Um. Do you mind if I try and revive her? Unless you're an expert at medicine, I wouldn't recommend it. You may end up doing more harm than good. However, I'm all for helping my patients. So if you think you have the ability, be my guest. Um, tell me more about Rayleigh's Rangers. They're a mercenary group. I've seen them pass through Underworld a few times. I'm not sure what their mission entails, but I suspect that it involves violence. The Rangers have a small headquarters not far from here. Let me program the location into your pip boy. Oh, thanks, Doc. Thanks. Um, I'd really like to speak to Rayleigh and find out what happened to her. It would be dangerous for me to prematurely awaken her. The sudden shock to her system could provoke any number of complications. Um. Get it. Now there's no call to be rude. I'm just doing my job, which is making sure this young lady suffers no more permanent damage. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have my work to attend to. 
Give me some. I mean, do my arrow real quick. Um, so this is not going to bring a lot of patron repair plus five. So yeah, but even if I do this, the Vault 101 jumpsuit only push the speech from 37 to 39, not 40. Yeah, I understand. Because if I do this, but if I do this, go to my stats, skills, and I look, it's 39, not 40. I wonder what happened to the vault. Because I won't be able to find out. I do wonder where that is. Don't even think of breaking it. Because I'm sure that this door leads to this particular door. The secluded place. There's a term. What place here? All right. Um. Trying to do 